Welcome again to our series on Microsoft Office Training Word Introduction. I'm Afolanya A. Olayinka. The program is powered by Microsoft Office, Byte Consult, and iStudyLine. Welcome to your Word Introduction Training course. We will limit ourselves to Word in Microsoft Office. Today, we have Unit 7, which is Using Proofing Tools. How to use Proofing Tools. In this session, you will learn to, one, use word spelling and grammar features to proof a document. Use word tracers to find alternative words. How? How can you use the spelling and grammar check? Okay? Now, on the file, you will see spelling grammar divine one kind okay so to learn the spelling and grammar check go to review tab then spelling and grammar button okay this is what we are saying come to review and choose spelling and grammar okay you to begin to take them, you can ignore once or ignore all the appearance of mala or you add mala to your vocabulary. Okay? To ignore the suggestion, you click once or you ignore all. Okay? Using the spelling and grammar checker feature to correct an error. To suggest option click change or change up okay so if you are correcting now so that you ignore once or or you change or you change all the appearance of mahala in this text this text this is the highlighted one okay if you are like this one you can ignore or you change all the appearance Okay, test us. Okay, for this one, it is very easy to look for alternative word. You can right click on that word and go to synonyms. Select another word to replace one correctly used. When you add right click, also you can ignore hard or hard to auto correct. Okay, and also you can smart look up for what exactly the meaning. It will tell you the meaning and how it is it has it was used or it can be used. Okay, so printing word document. Click the file tab, go to right click print, print the preview. The print preview will show you how Word will print your document. All the print options on the left side, which printer, which page, how many copies. You also access to the page setup where you can control all options. Okay. So let's cancel these ones. And let's come to file and choose print. When you choose print, okay, you we have to choose all pages. Which page do you want to print? How do you want it? What is the margin, the layout, the paper orientation, other landscape or portrait? Which type of paper do you want to print? Okay, how many page per sheet do you want to print? Okay, and in the printer property, when you click printer properties, okay, to show you the layout and paper quality, you want color, draft, and if you go to advanced, you can set the print quality and you change the paper type. Okay, then you click print. Okay. 
Next lesson is Unit 8, which is Web Future. Don't forget to check for updates at istudylife.com. Subscribe and like our channel. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.